All right, hey everyone, welcome to the Giovanna guide. This is going to be a quick little just demonstration of essentially what this character can uh, do and what you can kind of expect to see with this character. Guilty Gear's training mode is insane. The amount of stuff you can configure is probably some of the best, but I just really like the fact that uh, everything is very configurable and you can go through and really figure out what makes characters tick so so far from the 24 hours and all the footage i've been watching this is what i've cobbled together this is all beta so any of it can change any minute you know frame data and the sort but this is what you guys kind of need to know if you want to start playing this character and kick some butt this weekend so without further ado let's get started first things first i really enjoy uh, a lot of her safe normals we'll go over all of those her forward k is as safe as it gets safe on heavy slash here um it's pretty good you can do you know lower uh k as well as as a kick and not really have to deal with much it's a good poke option you get a free block and again her corner circle back kick with the dog coming out is really good so doing stuff like that will get them in a counter state and if you so happen to get that you want to go right into rc and start doing your stuff right um and, and trying to punish the opponent to the best of your ability so that is one thing with uh giovanna that is really great uh, another thing that's pretty safe um to use in in neutral is some of her absolutely ridiculous mix-up opportunities with her quarter circle back slash it works both in air and on the ground and if you jump in and cover with the heavy slash or come in with a kick which is really great because it hits pretty high up um there's a lot of cool stuff you can do in regards to that in terms of further extending the block strings possible so there's just a lot of stuff you're gonna have to keep out for her dp is pretty good um you know when you're not getting counter hit and there's just a lot of great stuff on the character so keep in mind all the stuff i told you uh mainly how safe her kicks are those are going to be your openers the punch button you just don't even really want to touch it's just not really that great you get a little bit of pressure started but you can't really do much out of it. You can't, as you can see, you can't quarter circle back. Um, it's a little sus. Uh, you can't really, you know, do a lot of crazy cool stuff without getting counter hit or getting opened up. You want to focus on using the kicks at a distance and using those to get in. Uh, so when you get in, right, um, theoretically speaking, you got to do some combos, obviously. So her combos are pretty nasty i'm still learning so we're gonna drop a couple times but that's the magic of video editing to cover that but let me give you a great example combo here something to kind of test the water so this is my favorite bnb to show off if you're trying to figure out giovanna and have something to uh i guess ruin your opponents with so that's a great combo 183 damage a great starter to kick things off it does quite a lot it's very simple and if you are slightly closer like right here uh, literally just slightly closer to the map you can get a nice little wall bounce into heavy kick and um it you know further adds to damage right it's also rcable if you want to do some rc shenanigans which is roman cancel uh and there's a lot of cool stuff you could do with that and the reason why i like this even though it's 142 is because when you perform this combo they're in a really weird knockdown state right they're stuck on the floor and if you go into an rc you get a free combo extension here so doing something of this nature allows you to get some really nutty stuff and you could go for some absolutely crazy shenanigans if you have full meter and don't want to use it for a special move or again, if you're just wanting to go into a RC and get something nasty started, like I said, ending it with the heavy kick for 199, say if you don't have RC or whatever maybe, is absolutely incredible. And I believe you can even end it with the wolf, uh, which is again, really awesome. So just keep your eye out for Giovanna's strings. They're all really great. And she just has a lot of great combos and stuff to kick things off no pun intended so those are kind of my two bnbs i've been finding that i am using quite a bit um being able to rc pretty much from anywhere and get an easy wall crush from again pretty much anywhere is really massive and the fact that you can just mix people up constantly with the you know using the dog and 
going straight into RC after hitting a string or whatever it may be. All of it's very, very important. Um, the best thing I really recommend is trying to get someone in the corner here because the uh, combo capabilities is just insane. So one thing I do want to add that you really need to understand about Giovanna is her standing heavy kick as great as it is in certain scenarios uh, this one right here or heavy slash I should say one thing you have to understand about its properties is if you hit someone with it as they're like in the air or whatever and you go to knock them down they are not going to like fall down completely right they're not going to be in a typical knock-up state like you see right here if someone's falling down with uh, RC, they're just gonna get uh, hit again, and they're gonna go straight into a hard knockdown kind of scenario where they just fall to the floor like that. So you wanna use her crouching heavy slash to extend all of your combos. If you just do this standard kick, it puts him in this weird stun position, and it kind of is a little bit of a combo ender in a lot of ways, right? So once they're in that grounded state, you wanna use that crouching heavy slash, to further enhance your combo and with it you can get something kind of nutty that i've been trying to figure out like there's a little bit of micro walking you can do so and you don't want that because you want to extend the combo as much as it can possibly go there we go yes and you get 256 so the biggest thing you're trying to figure out is squeezing in those micro walks not being afraid to keep applying pressure and try not to use rc uh, as much because even without it as you saw with the wall crush there you get so much damage it's like 200 easy or 212 easy uh, which is a lot of health for guilty gear and again it's not even with rc if you start using um some of the other i guess like tactics like that and you, you know, catch people on fall down into the wall splash you know there's a lot of stuff you can do um out there that like enhance this character actually can i even yeah i don't think you can cancel into that sadly but there's a lot of stuff you can do out there and if you have the rc if you have the meter you know doing the combos and stuff can just go absolutely crazy so yeah just keep in mind everything out there there's a ton of crazy combos that you can pull off oh see there we go and you can even get some side switches if you are c at the right time because that's just the type of character she is it's just crazy like this amount of ways she can reset neutral in her favor uh just off of one rc interaction like just dashing here and you know i had away from the fall a little bit but you can get another crouching heavy slash uh there and you could further extend the combo and it's just nuts like she has so many ways that you can cross up go to different sides if you don't want the corner you can get them out of the corner and continue a string and keep the mix-ups going if you want them in the corner there's obviously ways you can do that and it's a 256 damage combo off of one rc or about 220 without it so there's a lot of crazy stuff she has you want to keep all of that in mind when you play this character she's a ton of fun and uh, those are just some simple things to help you get started. If there's anything you guys find or want to talk about, sound off in the comment section below. Just again, a quick guide to show you what's up with Giovanna. I had a lot of fun playing her and I'm really looking forward to her when the game comes out. I won't do all the characters because this is beta and I'm only playing the ones that I really, really care about right now. However, when the game comes out, you guys know where to find the channel and uh, keep up if you want more guides like this. Uh, thank you all for watching. Peace. Where's my DP? Oh my gosh. There it is. Dude, his stuff does so much damage. Oh, I'm mad. Let's go! Let's go! Don't ever think you can cheese me out! We're on offline now, baby! We can react to that! You must have forgot this is rollback, baby! Let's go! Had this been Dragon Ball Fighters, I would have been molding right now. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. This is the future. This feels so good. 
I'm so happy. Oh gosh, bad boy. He is mashing. Okay. I gotta remember to do my. That's what I gotta do. There it is. There it is. I'm there. Finally.